All right, MIT just came out with a new programming language specifically targeting AI development. Let me just read my little Twitter comment I made and we'll get into it. MIT says their new AI programming language makes AI more accessible to everyone. So here's my comment in a nutshell. The language takes care of the complexity, including the math. Uh, so, as I've been saying for years, math is not important in most programming. And now, not even in AI. As if we needed it to be easier for Skynet to be created, a team of MIT researchers has created an AI programming language that they say makes it easier for novices to start programming artificial intelligence. Not only that, it will help experts further advance in the field. The new programming language is called GEN, and it is detailed in an MIT paper titled GEN, a general purpose probabilistic programming system with programmable, with programmable interfaces. So um, let's just jump in a little bit more. Easy AI, in their paper, which was revealed at the Programming Language Design and Implementation Conference last week, the researchers described GEN, their new probabilistic Probaba, probabilistic programming system. Users can use Gen to write models and algorithms from multiple fields, such as computer vision, robotics, statistics, where AI techniques are typically applied. They can do so without having to deal with deciphering complex equations or manually writing high performance code. Experts can use the new programming language to write sophisticated models and inference algorithms that would have previously been too complex. In the study, the researchers show that a short gen program can infer 3D body poses, a complex computer vision interference task that can be applied in autonomous systems and augmented reality. While this is happening, the program can continue to fulfill other functions behind the scenes as an MI T statement explains. Anyway, they go on and go on and go on and go on and go on. AI for everyone. Due to its relative simplicity, the MIT researchers say Gen, that's the language, Gen can be easily used by anyone, whether they're novice or experts. One motivation of this work is to make automated AI more accessible to people with less expertise in computer science or math. First author, Macro. Kosomano Downer, a PhD student in the Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science says, in the MIT statement, we also want to increase productivity, which means making it easier for experts to rapidly iterate and prototype their AI systems. This is um, not uncommon. This is not uncommon in software development. The gory details, if you will, sooner or later are uh, managed inside of libraries, inside of frameworks that you can leverage, and then you can put to good use. I saw this happen quite a bit in the 1990s where web frameworks were uh, being built. There were all kinds of different uh, design patterns, different ways in which web frameworks were implemented. Most have died away. The winner is what we see today in all the major frame frameworks, the MVC framework. You see it in uh, Laravel, which is PHP frameworks. You see it in Ruby and Rails. You see it in Django. You see it in uh, .NET implementation. You see it to a certain extent in uh, Java Spring. Don't get me wrong, they're not identical. There's variants and there's been subtle changes here and there, but generally speaking, uh, they all fall, all these frameworks and there's others, they all fall within this uh, context uh, that uh, basically won out in the 90s. So now, instead of you having to design and conceive of a framework from scratch, which we used to do in the mid and late 90s, uh, now you just grab the framework that's uh, applicable to whatever language you happen to be using at the time. <laughs> Bing, bang, boom, uh, Bob's your uncle, you're up and running. now as I figured it would happen, we're seeing that some of the deeper complexities in AI and ML, artificial intelligence and machine learning, are being resolved here with this MIT language gen. I haven't used it, it's brand new, but you see the trend. In software development, um, it's about 
architectures, about putting things together in an efficient manner, best practices, which are universal, and you know, usability and uh, domain knowledge. These are things and applying your skills to solve problems within a particular domain. That's where domain knowledge comes in. This is what separates the great software from the not so great software because as more and more of these frameworks come out, these libraries come out, these more advanced languages come out very, very specific to a particular problem. In this case, Gen is specifically designed for AI and ML simplification. You can see more and more and more of that. I hope that makes sense. One of my consistent messages on this channel. That's it for now. Bye-bye. Thank you.